yesterday, December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. The Pacific War started on December 7, 1941. The Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor came out of the blue for most Americans, and for that matter, for most people of the world, even the majority of the Japanese public, as the attack was an ultra-secret operation intended to catch Americans totally off guard. A war between America and Japan, however, had been anticipated by some insightful people long before 1941. Regrettably, that didn't include many in in the top brass of the military or political elite circles. Soon after the Russo-Japanese War of 1904 to 1905, in which Japan was victorious to the surprise of the whole world, alarmist views were expressed. There were always some yellow peril talks for fear of a resurgent China harming Western interest in Asia or an imperial Japan destroying peace in the Pacific. An ex-mercenary called Homer Lee is one publicist who left his mark in history by writing a future war novel. He was concerned with complacency on the part of the U.S. government and downright racism in the U.S. He warned that Asia was a civilization comparable to that of the West and needed to be treated with respect. Otherwise, it might just hit back. As Japan's rise had caught the public's attention, he came up with the hypothetical invasion of America by Japan. While the story of the invasion of the U.S. mainland ignored war of logistics, but his depiction of the Japanese invasion of the Philippines was almost spot on. After World War I, the torch was passed onto a British naval writer of an obscure background called Hector Bywater. His novel was a sensation that excited the Western public and infuriated the Japanese. Though Bywater wanted to say that a Pacific War would harm interest of everyone and needed to be avoided, a fictional future war novel like his can acquire a life of its own. Some consider him a prophet or even an inventor of the Pacific War. Professional sailors were not blind either. Most famously, the U.S. Navy had a plan or plans to deal with Japan, collectively called Plan Orange. This is essentially about how to protect America's naval and military forces across the Pacific, a vast ocean spanning of more than 8,000 miles. In its early form, the plan was nothing new, just a scenario of the traditional battleship duel between the U.S. and Japanese navies. In the end, perhaps it was the Japanese Japanese who came up with the better prediction, as they had more at stake with the outcome of the Pacific War. Unfortunately, group dynamic and wishful thinking marred Japanese thoughts, leading them to believe that they could win in a single big shootout by their battleships. A few courageous Japanese admirals, however, managed to tell the truth. You have to win a war of logistics, and the war would be a long war of attrition. You would have to take islands, ports, and bases so that your warships can actually fight. In hindsight, these views turned out to be the most accurate prediction of what would happen in a Pacific War. Pity most Japanese admirals did not listen. Because quite a scene.